Once your prints have had a chance to dry, our next task is to cut them out. We are leaving these three soldiers attached to each other. And this is a great opportunity that if you had some smears that were outside the line where you were coloring, you get to cut those off. Make sure you leave their ears and things attached. All right, see, I got the shoulder number two, soldier number two, and he's still attached to soldier number one. All right, we have a three prints here. If you wanted to use all of them and have a little overlapping, so it looks like you have more troops, that's okay. We can't take this back row and move them up because that would look really weird. It looks like people growing out of the ground. We don't want that. So if we can have them overlap so you have an extra row, or if you want to save your two favorite prints and glue those down, that is also an option. You put glue on these, make sure you put glue on every head. And then we just kind of, kind of make a little circle on the inside. So we don't want your heads to fall off. I want these hallway ready at all times. And massage. Do not use bottle glue to glue these down. So they have a marker on them. We don't want to wake that marker up and make it smear all over the place. Another option for your mason is you can keep two of your prints and maybe you cut out one of the soldiers from one of your other prints and we use them to fill in part of the space that way we don't have a gap in formation so i could put this one in here and then continue my line of soldiers you can use some oil pastels and add some additional details like if you want to put uh, some trees in the picture or flowers, some kind of plants on the hillside. Just don't add anything modern because this is ancient China. These soldiers were made over 2,000 years ago. 